Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. For today, I have to review the Yakikan 2-in-1 tower heater with a humidifier incorporated. So this is going to be super, super cool. I really wanted to get a humidifier separately. So now we are going to have it in this. This is going to be awesome. And it's actually not 2-in-1, I think it's 3-in-1 because in summer, the good thing is that you can also use it as a fan. How awesome is that? Okay, so before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Yakikan for kindly gifting us this heater. I can't wait to take it out. I can't wait to test it because we are getting a lot of cold weather now in December. And we are also expecting maybe some snow this week. So with this, you can heat up the whole room in just a few minutes. And in three, two, one, reveal. So here we have it. It's super cool, and I just love how it looks. It looks definitely more modern. We did have an old heater, which uh, we actually gave it away because uh, it looks super, super old school, and I didn't like it anymore. So this is going to be a super nice change. So let's slide this carefully out. Let's remove this protection and we can see that we have a wide flat face that is going to be super super cool so it won't uh, accidentally fall over. Inside the box we can see we have instructions and the remote control. Revealing. Here is our first look, it looks really great. Here we have the power cable which is not super long but you don't need it to be long because you just put it near any uh, power source and it's going to blow the heat towards the room so it's better to have a power source in the corner of a room so you will heat up evenly uh, we have this uh, technical specification here because we are from the e so uh, we have 2200 watts okay it's time to take a closer look i see some peeling foil here it looks really great i just love it and all the options that you have on the panel you will have on the remote control also so this is going to be super easy to use because we don't have different options so first we need to check if we have something from the packaging stuck inside here just make sure before you plug it in, everything is uh, set and you have all, uh, removed all the plastics. So I just love this uh, handle because you can uh, move your heater anyway, anywhere you want. You just lift this up and you don't need to hold it by the side so you won't damage it or something. It's time to remove this also from the humidifier. So whenever you are adding water, just make sure you don't uh, wet this part here. This is really, really important. So this is going to be the correct position to put it like that. And you just need to press the button where the humidifier is. Here on the back, we have the on button. And make sure this part is going to be free so uh, it's not going to be uh, near a curtain or a wall so just leave uh, at least five centimeters a distance so the air can circulate remove this plastic from the remote switch the on button from the back let's power on at first you are going to feel like a little breeze and slowly you can feel it getting warm and it's set up on low heat. Let me just close up. And it's set on sleep mode. Let's deactivate that. I'm actually sitting in front and it's already getting super warm for me. So I must move on the side. Uh, we are going to hit oscillate now. Okay, I'm not even joking, but it's already so warm for me. And it's set on low heat so let's uh, give it a high heat let's see how bad this is going to be for me sitting here in the front whoa 
Okay, guys, I definitely need some water <laughs> to cool off. The oscillation is really smooth. It's not making any sounds. The different sound between the high heat and the low heat is hardly not noticeable. Uh, so we have the sleep option, we have the child lock option. So when you hit the child lock, then the child can do anything from there. You are just going to keep the remote to yourself and your child can uh, mess uh, with the heater. So let's unlock it. We can set the timer. We have one hour, two hours. Three hours, four hours, I think 12 hours is maximum. So because I want to use the humidifier now, I'm going to bring some water. So you have a maximum line of 600 milliliters. So we are going to add the lid now. And you can also feel like a magnetic section is happening there so we have maximum line there now let's see how it works I almost forgot to try the fan option it's still warm from the heater I can feel it cool it down yeah it's cooling down okay so let's try the humidifier maybe we need it warm That actually looks so magical and fun. <laughs> oh, this is really, really cold. It's so pleasant. I absolutely love my new Yakikon Tower heater. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And I just love how you can also uh, move it around with the handle. I love how you can uh, turn it to a fan mode and also with the humidifier you are starting to feel like a, a really really pleasant breeze so it's going to be so perfect for winter i definitely recommend this and it can also make an awesome christmas gift so if you want to purchase yours i'm going to put a link down in the description thank you so much yakikon for kindly gifting this tower heater to us and i hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe with the bell for more videos happy holidays bye